Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my hidden bed version 3 because I have built two other versions. However, they no longer work after title update 21. And I know a lot of people were asking me to rebuild this because they wanted to make pods for Hunger Games or pods for Adventure Maps, things like that. So as you can see, if I click this button right here, my hidden bed opens up and there's my bedroom and I could come on in here, close the button like this. And obviously I'm gonna show you that it works. So here's it closed and then here's it open from the inside. And this chest right here is, you know, we'll just get into that later on so let's just close it up right here now i'm gonna go kill myself just to show you guys that this thing is working all right guys so we're over here at my zombie spawner that i built just a few days ago so we're gonna go ahead and set it to three players and we're gonna set some zombies out to kill us so we can make sure that this bed is working good so there we go let's just send a few zombies coming in right there and we'll just let them kill us so and there we go we're dead we spawn and we respawned inside our hidden bedroom and if you're wondering what's inside this chest all i did was i put a chest in here with a few items in case you die and like if you're playing on your survival and you die and you need a few items to go on out there to get your old items that you lost so now all we have to do is just click this button right here open up our hidden bedroom jump on out and then obviously we can close the button behind us and it's like nothing was ever there so let's start building this thing guys all right guys so for this build we're going to need a five by six spacing we're also gonna have to dig down one however we do need to dig down two in just a few areas so make sure you have enough room to dig down too now for this build we're going to need six sticky pistons one piston five redstone repeaters ten redstone dust two redstone torches two buttons the lamps are optional i put the lamps in there just so we have light when we open up our little thing right here see we have some lamps here and some lamps here so if you want you can have four lamps in total if you want to do that but that is completely optional you're also going to need a sand block a stone slab or any slab will do we're also gonna need some blocks of choice i'm gonna be using white stained clay sandstone and orange stained clay to put my redstone down on so let's start building this thing guys so once you've gotten your five by six spacing and you've dug down one come to the bottom left hand corner and count over one block one delete this block right here and delete the block next to it and put two sticky pistons facing upwards right here then right next to the sticky pistons well, oh well, you know what? we're gonna need a bed for this too <laughs> you're going to need a bed for this as well so take out your bed and then right next to these sticky pistons we're gonna go ahead and put a bed like that next what we're gonna do is come over here on the other side of the bed delete these two blocks right here and delete the two blocks underneath the bed and then going into these sticky pistons we're gonna go ahead and put two repeaters like this with two pieces of redstone dust right behind it like that next take your blocks of choice you will be able to see these blocks i'm going to be using sandstone and you can go ahead and put two blocks of choice right on top of these sticky pistons and then also put two right on top of this redstone dust right here but for now let's just put one right here in this corner because this is one we're going to need so going into this block right here we're going to put a repeater going this way into the block so it looks something like that then behind the repeater we're going to delete down a block put a piston with a sand block on top of it then going into the block of sand we're going to put a piece of redstone dust here come up a block and put another piece of redstone dust like that so now it looks something like this then what you can do is right above this redstone dust put your block of choice in right here just so you don't see any of the redstone next what i'm going to do is set up my inside button so what i want you to do is go to the right hand side of your bed right here come up two blocks one two put a button right off the block right here and then come three blocks over to the back of the button one two three and put redstone dust all along these blocks so if i click this button these pistons right here should let go of these blocks so boop, the pistons let go of the blocks beautiful click the button again the pistons grab the block so if yours is not doing this then you did something wrong and you're going to have to go back next what we're going to do is set up our back double piston extenders like over there so what we're going to do is come up two blocks right here one two then we're going to come up another block to the left delete that block and then come over three blocks one two three like so then what i want you to do is right above these two middle blocks we're going to take out our sticky pistons put one two one two like that as you can see it's right here facing off our bed next we're going to take out our redstone dust and just bring our redstone dust all the way up along these blocks next we're going to put a slab over here upside down so just put a block out right here and then put a slab right here upside down now the reason for this is just so this redstone dust does not get cut off from here then coming out of this block of redstone dust we're going to put a repeater going this way off our slab on two ticks delay with a block in front of it and then a torch off the block now if you want to you will be able to see this block so i highly recommend using a block of choice here and then put your torch like that and we're going to do the same thing on this side however we don't need to use a slab all we have to do is just come down a block and over a block then come out of this redstone dust with a repeater on two ticks delay with a block of choice in front of it you will be able to see the block at some point and then we're going to put our torch like that now if you want to the lamps are optional but i usually like them just to light up the area so you can put two lamps in like this and two lamps in like that next take out your blocks of choice for in front of your sticky pistons and put two blocks of choice in front of your sticky pistons like that so that's it our whole thing should close so if we click this button our whole hidden bed closes 
click the button again and our whole bit hidden bed opens up now if you want to you could put your chest in there with those extra items like i did so all you need is chests or you can put an ender chest in there it really doesn't matter you can put two chests like that now you won't be able to open a chest while it's like this but you will be able to open it up when it is closed and that's the main time you really want to open it up now you don't want to see any other redstone in there as well when you're inside there so what i like to do is come behind my chest take out my blocks of choice and then put two blocks of choice off the back sides of this chest like that so then we won't see any of the redstone in there then off the right the left hand side we need this block right here so when we die we spawn right here and then we could jump out so make sure you have this spot right here opened up we can go ahead and put some blocks of choice right here as well there we go i just want to hide everything so we don't have to see all the uh ugly stuff so then on this side what we're going to do is just come up some blocks right here some blocks like that so when we click the button close right now so then just take out your top blocks of choice however you're making this we're going to put some blocks in here some blocks in there and then we're going to put some blocks right above this area too so we don't see any of this there we go and then we click the boat oh, we have to do over here as well sorry got to put some blocks in here there we go and you know what? we can put our outside button too now i'll show you how to move your button in a second but let's just put our outside button so i don't have to keep going on the inside to open up so just put a block right here real quick and a button just to open it up from the outside let me get these buttons right here there we go Boop. So now it opens up from the outside and then when we walk in right here we just want to hide all this stuff in here there we go we don't want to see any of that now if you want to you could put a secret room here if you really want to you can have a secret room right here however what i do is i just like closing it all the way up like this but if you want to if you really want to you can have an extra room inside your secret bed area like this it looks like this during the preview there we go it looked like this during the previous so when you spawn you spawn right here and then you could jump on out however if you want to you can go ahead and put a secret room in here as well i mean you have all the room in the world to do whatever you want in here however you're just doing a bed area then obviously you just want to close this area up like that there we go so now when we spawn inside here it will look like this and then when we click the button again it opens up we can jump on out of our secret bedroom and then close it up from this side as well and let me just, this looks really derpy over here so let me just clean this up real quick there we go now if you want to move your button on here now you, this does matter this does matter if you want to move your button because you got to remember you can only go out 15 redstone dust and normally what you have to do is add a repeater like this however you can't do that here if you add one repeater to this redstone dust it will break it see look if i put a block and then a repeater and click the button it opens up fine but then when i click it to close it it does that see how it did that we don't want that happening so you can't use a repeater here or else it will break it so the only way around this is you have to use a sticky piston and a redstone block so if you want to move your button or put it somewhere else you're going to, have to put a sticky piston like this with a redstone block because if you put power to the sticky piston with a redstone block it will close it. see how it closed it and then we click it again and it opens up so now if you want to move your button or put another input into something because like i said you can't put a repeater into it so if you want to use a different type of input you have to do this so now let's see if i move this over here and let's say i want to put a repeater into it too like that no stop putting redstone blocks down <laughs> i want to put a repeater into it like that it will work just fine see Boop. closes fine and opens up fine so just keep that in mind you can't have a repeater going right into the redstone dust or it will not work so there you guys go that's how you build my hidden bed version three because the other two are broken if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to tune to my newest videos all right guys peace